McCollum doesn't let an active Festus Esley lecture Blazers after tough loss. Expecting to pick up right where they left off last season, a trip to the second round in the postseason, the Portland Trail Blazers are currently not even in the playoff picture in the West. Due to their issues on defense and overall inconsistent play, the Blazers have struggled mightily this season and are ninth in the West with a 15-21 record. Has yet to play due to a recurring issue with his left knee that could lead to season-ending surgery. Esley being a total non-factor is a bit of a disappointment for the Blazers as they expected him to fill in at center and be their much-needed rim protector. Despite not playing, he's still hanging around the team, attending games, practices and community events. Yet while it's good to see Esley doing what he can to be part of the team, sometimes his efforts are getting on his teammates' nerves. At least that was the case of C.J. McCollum after a close 88-86 loss to the Memphis Grizzlies on December 7. Drawing upon his championship experience with the Warriors, Esley talked to the team after a loss to the Bucks a few days before. But against Memphis, when Esley tried to inspire his teammates, McCollum wasn't having it. From ESPN's Chris Haynes After suffering a challenging 115-107 loss to Milwaukee, Esley, in street clothes, addressed the team in the locker room with a stern speech centered on playing with urgency, sources told ESPN. Then two games later, after a crushing defeat in Memphis, Esley once again started giving a team speech, but he was cut short. McCollum interrupted Desley in mid-sentence and told him that was enough, sources told ESPN. Portland was in the midst of an emotionally draining December, losing 11 of 13 games. Players were desperately pouring out every ounce of effort trying to change the trajectory of the season, and being lectured by someone who wasn't even playing wasn't received favorably. McCollum's annoyance is pretty understandable. While Esley is technically part of the team, he isn't with them shooting in the gym. Despite this incident, the Blazers remain a tight-knit team and are committed to improving from within, from within. Portland's Damian Lillard out against Warriors. Portland point guard Damian Lillard will not be available Wednesday night against Golden State, Trail Blazers head coach Terry Stotts said. The two-time NBA All-Star had previously been listed as doubtful. Lillard, who has missed the past four games with a sprained left ankle, is averaging 27 points, 4.5 rebounds and 6.2 assists per game this season. Portland is 2-2 without Lillard after losing 9 of its previous 10 games. An Oakland native, he tends to dominate his hometown team. Lillard is averaging 30.8 points over his past 8 regular season games against the Warriors. His 31.8 points per game in the 2016 Western Conference semifinals, when Portland lost to Golden State in five games, was the highest scoring average by a Blazers player in playoff series history. For Golden State, point guard Patrick McCaw is back after missing the past two games with flu-like symptoms. Head coach Steve Kerr also said he hopes to get Damian Jones, who has appeared in one game this season some playing time Wednesday. Jones is scheduled to return to Golden State's NBA Development League affiliate in Santa Cruz after the game, for the game.